Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Today's the day where I'm relaunching my Kickstarter project on Indiegogo. Tonight it's gonna happen and I'm so glad I took some more time. It was just like one week or one and a half week. But it was enough to get a lot of problems solved. I have one of my Chinese friends, one of my Chinese engineers in my project now as well. And he's gonna help me with the production and everything because the camera is a prototype, right? And it needs, a, it has a lot of problems that need to be solved. It, it's a prototype right now and I don't wanna send you any prototypes. I also thought I need more time for this and that's why I'm gonna ship the camera in August, maybe maybe even earlier, but I want like two months more just to be make sure that everything is perfect. It takes like three days to get a camera from China. That's, that's pretty short. They're really fast with like sending me stuff and so on. So I feel like they're really cooperative, you know? Like it's really easy to work with them and I'm looking forward to, to make business with them. It's, I feel like it's gonna work out. And um, by the way, my skateboard company is, I'm, we're working with a whole different factory because that's that's like something completely different Switzerland why are you always raining and cold and snow ah, it's so difficult to make videos like this and to even test my own electric skateboard it's gonna be great I mean I was testing it today this morning in the rain it was perfect it was working and I'm testing the bigger battery now I got some different batteries but I'm still not a hundred percent happy it's still not what I want to send to other youtubers I, I don't want to say anything but it will take at least three to four weeks until I will release everything that's it that's the point but anyway today I want to do something completely different I want to review one of my fake Mavic Pros this is the one no this is not the one this is the real one this is also not the one because this is the one I've reviewed already I got 350,000 views or something can't remember how many but Anyway, I have another one. I'm, I'm not doing this for the views, by the way. This is just like a fun project for me. And um, I'm also gonna sell this drone on my own website as soon as it's, as it's working. That's the main point. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's review this drone. Let's see how good it is. So in my opinion, this has a really good remote controller. It feels really good in my hands. It has all the buttons you need. You can you can see everything. You know, it, it, this is working. This is gonna work out for me. First, I thought, where the heck is my phone gonna be? But this is so cool actually made. You know, it's it's even the material which just which just feels nice on here. It doesn't feel that cheap like all the other drones that I reviewed before this one. So I expect the love like just from the flying experience. Let's let's see how it works out. So that whole manual is written in Chinese. I obviously can't read anything, but I found the app. It's easy to find. I mean, you you can see it on here a little bit what it is. So, oh yeah, the app is in English actually, so that works out, that works out for me. So yeah, I actually didn't figure it out yesterday, so I have to do it again, I finally know how it works. You turn it on right here, and now you can see the red light right here, it's blinking and you have to wait until um, it's like fully red. It takes like five minutes sometimes. There are so many people around, I hope I'm not gonna get any problems. Let's see if I can find it. All right, there is it, it's XTAR. Let's open the app, it's called XPAC AR and click on fly. So all I'm gonna do now, I mean, it's it's connected already. So this is also my working place here. So if I'm getting any problems, um, yeah. It's, it's fully snowing right now, oh my God, why now? So what you have to do is this to get it started. And now I'm actually able to fly it. So you just, Hey, this is working good. Oh my God, I'm, I'm impressed. It's just like, this is actually holding in the air, I think. I'm still super afraid to actually fly it high because of the wind and, and the drone is super low. Dude, this is actually the, the best drone that I ever had because it's, it's holding in the air. Uh oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't crash into that car. Not the car. I'm definitely better at flying this than any other drone. This, this is working out for me actually. You know, the, the thing is, the drone is not just going down, it's like, it's like staying, you know? And this just makes a lot of stuff easier. Uh oh. <laughs> I just almost messed this drone up, but I feel like this is one of the best drones I've ever had. Like, one of those cheap drones. I'm pretty happy with this. 
but it's completely snowing right now what can i do should i go for another flight so yeah this is how you need to start off a lot of drones i didn't know that so you go to the side and this is just how you start off the the motors and it's like pretty much going like if, I, if i'm going up the drone is going up oh shit oh shit a car a car a car at least i can stay in the air and like you know this is like the most important for me oh i just almost crashed again <gasps> oh my god crashed into my tripod this is definitely not the right place to fly any drone but this one is definitely working for me a lot better than wait than this one i mean this one was like flying away i wasn't even able to really fly it but it's it's a better copy when you look at it it definitely looks more of like a mavic pro so on the other side we have this one which is a lot bigger but in my opinion a lot better when it comes to the flying because it's like staying in the air and so on and the controller is also a lot better all right ronnie's testing my drone right now it's gonna be around 65 dollars swiss francs <laughs> on my so shop <laughs> it's so simple but so much fun for about at least half an hour i would say are you even watching the phone no you're not I'm just, because uh, you don't you don't see anything basically no nope. <laughs> flying by visual like it you should actually it's more fun i think i mean you're not really using it to i don't know, to make like cinematic slower. shots definitely not it's a fun drone <laughs> You're a pro, you're a pro at flying. <laughs> Look, I can hop. Oh, yeah. I'm hop. The cool thing is if you have never had a drone, it doesn't matter if you crash it. I mean, it's just, oh, it stopped. We're out of battery. Oh, uh, maybe I hope it could be. I, I didn't floor. really charge it. I think it's out of battery. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's some kind of blinking or something. Yeah, I was flying it yesterday for like 10 minutes. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely it's yeah. a good starter drone if you never had a drone it's i think it's perfect all right i think i think i'm done for today um in my opinion the i mean the camera itself is really cheap don't expect like any cinematic shots out of this camera that's not gonna happen but it's for fun to fly around in here you would never do that with a mavic pro right you would never fly in here i mean it's I not did. you did <laughs> But it's, it's different, I feel like. Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, this one is a lot lighter. If you fly into a, a wall with a Mavic Pro, first of all, you're gonna destroy a thousand dollar drone. Second of all, you're gonna maybe destroy the wall as well. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. So I just wanted to add some additional information about my electric skateboard real quick. Why am I, why am I even filming here? I, I just thought it's a cool background. Um, actually, I'm gonna sell my electric skateboard with two batteries, two different batteries actually, a small one, a big one, it's coming out in three weeks and we're thinking about the prices and everything. I just thought, you know, if I make an electric skateboard with, with swappable batteries, I wanna at least sell a board with two batteries because that's pretty much the point of it. So I'm gonna have a 99 watt hour battery and a 159 watt hour battery. So the 99 one is gonna be really easy to take into a plane and the other one you have to pretty much ask the company, but it's, it's gonna work as well. I think most companies, I mean, I've done it before with other batteries. I feel like it's gonna work out, but uh, you definitely need to be able to take the batteries out of the skateboard. And so my question right now is, you know, it's a little bit of a price problem. If I'm gonna sell a board with two different batteries, it's definitely gonna be more expensive. And that's what I'm thinking about it right now. What should I do? What, what do you think? What should I do? Tell me in the comments. Like, it's gonna be 500 to $600 with two batteries. I mean, I could sell it for $500 with just one battery, but I just kind of feel like it makes no sense. If I have a board with swappable batteries, you basically want to have two batteries, right? So tell me in the comments, what do you think? What would be better for you? Would it be better? I mean, I just kind of think it's swappable, so why not have two batteries? It, it just makes sense to me. And you would get the, the big one and the small one. I also thought about having one option with just the small batteries, but you know, the bigger one is just the board is gonna be a little bit faster, bigger range, of course, that's why I have it, right? So yeah, tell me what you think about this and all right.
I'm done for today. I hope you enjoyed. Now we gotta edit the video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh yeah, link in the description. <laughs> Ronnie Tobler, go check it out. <laughs>